All right, guys, so I'm going to do a little bit of an account update, I guess you might call it. Uh, and by guys, I think right now I just mean Captain Jeff of CJS Knives. Uh, he seems to be my only subscriber and uh, probably my only viewer uh, beside the accidental viewer that occasionally stumbles upon my page. But uh, he's really the only guy who intentionally knows about me, so... I guess this is pretty much for me and him, but anyway, I'm not going to do a cigar review, unfortunately. Uh, the cigars that were in this box have long, long been smoked up. Uh, might be a couple left in my humidor, but uh, this is where I'm keeping my uh, blade blanks and templates and whatnot. And uh, as you can see, I did a little bit of work tonight. And... Uh, Went ahead and transferred this to some 1095 and uh, cut out my first blink. And uh, so far, so good. I'm happy with how it turned out. Just needs a little bit of uh, work left to do on the, that little groove right there. I guess you could call that the Ricasso. I'm not sure. But I uh, just need to even that out, flatten it out a bit. But uh, other than that, I'm real happy with it. Uh, it's about ready for the next step, which will be uh, the chisel grind. I'm going to go ahead and hollow grind this side. Uh, don't know if I'll back bevel it yet. Uh, I'm probably going to make one more mild steel blank and practice on that just to uh, make sure I'm ready to grind and uh, make sure it's going to turn out like I like it. But uh, I figured in the meantime I could at least get maybe a blank or two roughed out and uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, I am having a little bit of tracking issues with my grinder. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I don't know if maybe in the process of adjusting my small wheel detachment uh, I might have worn down my drive wheel a little bit or knocked it out of kilter. Uh, so hopefully that's nothing too serious. I'm going to have to work on that a little bit uh, just so I don't screw any knives up because of tracking problems. But uh, I was at least able to get that uh, blank roughed out, so I'm happy about that. Uh, another thing I'm excited about uh, is that I'm actually recording this whole process, or at least uh, trying to capture the important parts on my little handy cam there. And uh, as I work on that, I'm going to try to edit down the segments and get a product there up on YouTube. Uh, this is kind of my first time trying to record anything with this other than the birth of my son. Uh, which, again, I only got bits and pieces of that too, but... <laughs> Uh, right now, it's just kind of me scribing the template onto the 1095, a uh, little bit of the rough grinding, and uh, just some details here and there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get as much of the process as I would have liked because of the tracking issues. Kind of ate up a lot of tape. I had to keep cutting and going back, and I kind of ran out of room and battery. Uh, before I could get much of substance on there. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a big blooper reel at the end of belts flying off and all kinds of craziness happening. But anyway, hopefully we can get that tracking issue straightened out. Like I said, uh, I'm really not sure what the main issue is at the moment. Uh, seems to be some issues with all of my attachments. Uh, to one extent or the other. So uh, we'll see if I can't straighten that out. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much the update. I'm not sure when I'll get to the second steps of uh, where I'm at now. I think I'm going to try to spend a little bit more time working on my basement and getting that a little farther down the way. But uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, show you where I was at, what I was thinking about, just some different things I'm working on, like the uh, little documentary there of my first attempts. 
So hopefully all will go as well as tonight. Even though this was probably the easiest part. Uh, definitely plan on trying to record a little bit more than I was able to tonight, uh, especially concerning the hollow grinding process. I'd like to get a lot of that down as well as I'm going to attempt to heat treat this first blade myself and see how that turns out. And uh, hopefully you guys will see it as I see it. Uh, successes and mistakes and all. Hopefully more success than mistakes, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, I'll hollow grind it to the heat treating point, try to get that heat treated, and uh, maybe get an edge on it, temper it, and uh, I'll probably record the final finishing as well. Uh, right now, I think I'm just planning on buffing it. Uh, maybe not to like a mirror polish. Uh, I'm not sure to what extent 1095 polishes up anyway. But maybe just kind of a rough polish. Uh, I might wrap the handle. Haven't decided for sure yet. Uh, I'll see how maybe that looks when my paracord comes in. Uh, definitely going to add a lanyard hole. But uh, still working out some little minor design details like that. But uh, like I said, I'm going to try to document all of it. Maybe I'll do some little updates on my iPhone. Uh, after each night's taping as I work on this just because it's going to take me a while to uh, get all this stuff cut and edited and uh, tapered down into a decent finished product. Uh, like I said, I've never done this before. So, we'll see. But uh, that's it for tonight. Just wanted to uh, again let you know where I was at. And what I had plans for doing. Uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya.